Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Learn Premiere Pro. Today I'm going to do a video that someone requested about masking a portion of a video so that you can replace it with something else. Now, technically this isn't a Premiere Pro, but I'm going to lump it under the same thing because usually you would do this VFX work and then bring it back into Premiere and keep working. So it's Let's Learn After Effects and Let's Learn Premiere Pro. In this example, uh, this person asked how a certain video was able to remove the sky in this shot with the sand in the sky here. So what I did was I brought this still frame in here, and you have to imagine this is a video, but in my case I just have a still frame here. Start off with the pen tool here, you click on it, get an idea of where your sky meets the sand in this particular shot, and then just start drawing your mask along that horizon. So I'll just start here at the edge. You just keep clicking along, and you can click and hold to draw out an anchor point and kind of curve it so that it lines up with the slope of the land where it meets the sky. And just keep continuing along here, trying to keep the line even with the horizon. And just keep continuing along here, trying to keep the line... This is pretty advanced stuff in most cases and it it requires a lot of time and a lot of effort and as as with all rotoscoping which is basically what this is it's actually taking something out of a moving scene which is rotoscoping but in this case I'm just gonna keep it simple to show this particular person how to do this so there you go I've started my mask and I want to finish it off by rounding out the the earth and there you go you can see that I've taken out the sky just by masking the ground here you can kind of see that division of the sky. I'll just put a solid here so you can actually see what that division looks like and how good that mask is by putting a color underneath it. Now if I wanted to animate this mask I could do one of two things. If it's going to be a very subtle movement I could just set a keyframe at the beginning of the movement. You can click on the mask path stopwatch to create a keyframe. Scroll along, create another one, move it up. You can see here it's starting to move on its own if I play it back and you could imagine that the ground would be moving with it. So you can see here I just sort of did it quickly and if I zoom out it's like you can see yeah it looks pretty good. Not perfect but it looks pretty good. So that's a quick introduction to masking out a portion of a scene so you're able to replace it with whatever you want. Again you can get a lot more advanced and I would encourage people to search out other videos in After Effects about rotoscoping and motion tracking scenes to be able to crop out a specific item in a scene so you can replace it with whatever you want. If you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video for you. Thanks. See you soon.